हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप यू आर वेरी मच कंसर्न अबाउट योर अपकमिंग एक्सचेंजर एग्जाम लाइक ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगस्त और द लास्ट वीक ऑफ अगस्त एंड द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एग्जाम राइट यू मस्ट बी वरीड अबाउट हाउ टू टेक द सैंपल इनपुट हाउ टू राइट द मेन फंक्शन और डू यू नीड टू राइट द मेन फंक्शन और वाट हैपन्स वेन एनी मिस्टेक्स और एनी लाइक एनी इशू हैपन्स इंटरनेट इशू और एनी इशू हैपन्स देन हाउ टू रेस टिकट एट्सट्रा एट्सट्रा सो विल टॉक अबाउट वेरियस इशू सो प्लीज वॉच टिल द एंड इट विल बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल टू यू ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट Hey you ready for the future tech no you have this year Sometimes Accenture throws in a card ball as well. Instead of the usual pseudocode questions, you might get hit with programming logic questions. Like uh, you will be given a uh, code in C language or C++ language, you will be asked to opt the output. Okay, so this will be this can be asked, and even the computer science related MCQs will be asked to you. As you can see, the computer science related questions was asked last year. related to linked list okay so as you can see this is pseudo code questions but they are asking linked list uh, related question but in this lot all the pseudo code questions were asked from the normal data structure normal computer science related questions right so sometimes they didn't ask any pseudo code questions they just asked some programming logic i mean just computer science related mcqs okay so how is linked list implemented not structure referential structure or none of this so as you can see this is the answer so i hope you will give importance whatever i am telling although this is rare it's always best to be prepared right imagine expecting a pseudo code and getting a programming logic instead keeps things exciting right so here's another twist occasionally they replace flowchart questions with mcqs about flowcharts right instead of uh, interpreting a flowchart instead of showing a flowchart you might need to understand the concept and the answer uh, of the questions based on that right so it's like they are testing your theoretical knowledge as well so they asked this way actually you will be shown like a figure you will be asked what this refers what does this perform so actually you have to remember an oval represents a start or end point uh, and an arrow this is a line which is uh, connecting the relationship between two nodes two shapes and this is the parallelogram which represents input output and this is the rectangle which represents the process and this is the diamond this is indicating the decision making okay so you have to remember this you can be asked from this side to this side and also from this side to this side like you will be given the symbol or you can be given like an oval represents what and a line represents what a parallelogram represents what okay so you have been you have to be prepared for this because this has been asked i am not joking okay so let's go to the next section so before i jump to the coding section i would recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the 2023 questions all the 2023 coding questions with answers all the ms office cloud and pseudo code and abstract reasoning critical reasoning all right so to get that knock me at page id instagram.com slash techno.tf this is paid but very affordable okay so let's go to the next section now let's talk about the coding round this is where it gets interesting right in some exam slots all the coding questions i have observed those are all pattern based the simple and the advanced as well you know those tricky ones where you have to print stars or numbers in a certain pattern okay but in other slots it was all about string and array and dynamic programming it's like uh, you they have a bag of coding challenges and pull out different themes for each slot so be versatile in your coding preparation so practice a bit of everything right and you know in same slot questions will be same but arrangement of the questions will be different so don't just blindly uh, hear from anyone that the question a is uh, question 1 is a question 2 is 3 don't remember this way okay so i hope you will remember and here is a crucial tip during the exam if you face any technical issues especially during the submission process don't panic raise a ticket immediately through the india campus website to get your exam rescheduled okay this happens the last year but many got rescheduled okay so accenture is pretty responsive to this issue so make sure uh, you take action swiftly to avoid losing the chance okay to wrap up things up uh, here are the key takeaways for accenture on campus exam 2023 you have to remember for 2024 exam be ready for an offline exam it might just happen okay offline exams might be easier so stay positive and three is rarely expect programming logic and csc related mcqs instead of 
pseudo code and be prepared for flowchart mcq instead of being shown the flowchart graph okay and coding questions can be only based on pattern and can all uh, can also be only based on string or array okay and also can be from dp only so raise a ticket for any technical issues immediately okay whenever you fill and the last thing is don't blindly copy uh, anyone's uh, copy okay L right yeah uh, question number one is a question number two is we don't copy this way now one of the unique aspects of accenture's coding round is that you can choose any programming language you are comfortable with whether it's java python c plus or any other language supported by the platform okay the choice is yours this flexibility allows you to showcase your strengths in your preferred coding language and here is an interesting part in the accenture coding round you don't need to write the main method yes you heard that right you only need to focus on the core logic of the problem this means you can dive straight into the solving the problem without worrying about the boilerplate code okay so let me give you a quick example imagine you are given a problem to reverse a string or any other code instead of writing the entire program with the main method you would only write the logic like this in java so uh, as you can see the imports are already there so you can use the uh, function you can use the class methods by default okay and there is no main method showing this is the function which is to be implemented and here you have to write the logic okay whatever language you select the problem will the, the template will be shown like this okay so main method will not may not be shown just you will have to implement the logic here okay so sometimes one case is there where main method you have to write by your own that means in only in case of pattern based question you have to write the main method okay nothing else so now let's talk about the manual input so there's a checkbox feature that allows you to test your code with your own input this is incredibly helpful because you can verify if your solutions works before submitting it okay so let's go back to the real time example so as you can see you have a checkbox you have to check it okay so try your own input to check your program this is the 2023 coding template and you have to just check this okay to check your own uh, own input okay so you have to insert your input like one two three four five six in, and anything then you have to check if your code is well or matching with the sample input or not okay sample output or not so i hope you understood okay so now let's talk about the real time coding environment okay so accenture mainly uses uh, platform like metal or higher pro once you log in you will find an interface that's user friendly and equipped with all the necessary tools okay actually the coding window typically has three main sections one is problem statement second one is coding area and third one is output or console area so okay now let's talk about some common challenges candidates face and how to tackle them okay so understanding the problem this is the first thing and second one is age cases you have to think about potential edge cases and include them in your testing and third one is efficiency okay optimize your code for time and space complexity okay before i end preparation is your best friend so practice diverse coding problems familiarize yourself with flowcharts programming logics and most importantly stay calm and confident action charts exam might throw a few surprises your way but with the right preparation you will be ready to tackle anything right so if you want the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the coding questions with answer of 2023 2024 and if you want to get the mock test links so to get that all please damn me at my study instagram.com slash techno.tf i'll try to assist you but this is paid but very affordable this is just cost uh 69 so please pay 69 and damn me at my study okay so that's all for today's session folks if you found this video helpful then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help and i can be motivated okay and please join our telegram channel to get latest update of different companies different hirings okay so i hope you will join so thank you for today's session